Hello everyone, I am Onumide Tanimo and this is Blueprint Africa by Guinness. Today, I will be discussing the topic, Finding Yourself. One major duty that can make life fulfilling is to know and find yourself. You can't claim to be living when you can't find yourself. To find yourself will cause this earth to experience peace, progress and tranquility. God or negative forces can't do anything on earth without your permission. Hence the need to find you. It therefore means that the greatest treasure you can find is to find yourself. You see, you don't motivate a bird to fly. You don't motivate a cheetah to run. You don't motivate a fish to swim. You don't motivate a lion to roar. You do. Just by finding that ability in themselves, these creatures effortlessly express themselves. The quality of your life is directly proportional to the level of of yourself that you are able to find. Death is never a threat to someone who has found themselves. There is a way finding yourself eliminates fear. You practically become unstoppable. You see, you no longer see life as a competition. The sky is wide for every bird to fly. You have your audience, you have your fans, you have your clients. The success of others will rather inspire than intimidate you when you find yourself. You see, we are all human beings. We have heads, we have brains, we have legs, we have hearts. But in a lot of ways, we are different and distinct. To the level that our tongue print is different from others, the billions of human beings on earth. Do you think God will have just created you to have weight and occupy space? Of course not. Think about this. When you have just a tooth in the body, or in the mouth, misplaced. The whole body feels it. That is how the world feels your impact when you have not found yourself. And that is the same way the world will feel your impact when you find yourself. The imperfection in the world, especially in Africa, is that most people in the region have not found themselves. Africa can't find peace, progress, or serious advancements in all areas of life until you find yourself. Because, you see, it's not everyone that will be the president. It's not everyone that will be the mechanic. It's not everyone that will be the pilots. You just have to find that part of you that is so unique to you that you are only the one called for. And if that thing is missing, there will be a problem. When you find yourself, you will be a pathfinder. You will open up paths and terrains that no man has ever walked. You will open up terrains that people feared to walk. When you find yourself, you make the path you walk a better one. Just recently, the BBC Africa featured a food artist. Can you imagine? Somebody that makes the work of hearts just by putting cooked foods together and she's there in the world. 
That is one aspect. We have the hyper-reality, hyper-realist, uh, reality, uh, realist artists. There are cartoonists. A guy made the picture of someone from used table water cover. Can you beat that? Can you beat that? Just because he found himself. Take a look at Telsa, the electric car company owned by Elon Musk. That company is doing well because Elon Musk found himself. Morocco produces, Morocco, the African country, produces airplanes and trains. Why? Morocco found herself. For God to tell you to be fruitful, which means to be productive rather than having many children, like some people uh, erroneously believe. It means you are carrying something the world needs. When you find yourself, when people have a particular challenge, you will come to their mind as the closest solution provider to that challenge. You can't be a solution to that challenge or to that problem you are sent to the world to solve when you don't or can't find yourself. Now having said, let's now look at the steps or what can be done. What can you do to find yourself? And honestly, the first place to start in finding yourself is to realize you have not found yourself or you have not found enough of yourself. There is a need to find yourself and find enough of yourself. As simple as this might sound, it is critical in finding yourself and finding more of yourself. You need to watch yourself as if you don't know who you are. And what are you really searching for? What are you looking for? What are you looking at yourself? You are looking for the solution that you carry. You must believe you have a solution, you have a product within you. If you don't believe this, you can't find yourself. As you must watch yourself, searching. For that solution that you carry within you. The next thing that you can do is to use your passion to make a difference in someone else's life. When you use your passion to make a difference in someone else's life, you find yourself. Your passion is for you, your purpose is for others. So when you take out time, to be a blessing to others. When you use your passion to make meaning in the life of others, gradually, there will be a spark of light within you. And then you realize, oh, so I, do, I can do this. So I enjoy this. Why? Because you have lost yourself in the service to others. And as you do that, you begin to see those things that you love so much, those things you are passionate about. Imagine if Joseph was not in the service of the baker and the buckler in the prison. Imagine. Who would have told the king about Joseph's gift in the palace? Who would have done that? And don't forget, he was the one that reached out to the buckler and the, and the baker. He was the one. He went out for them. He used his passion for them. He used it for them. It was after their well-being. He was lost in the service. And by so doing, he was able to get a voice in the palace. You can find yourself when you lose yourself in the service of others. That way, you discover what you enjoy helping people with. Another way, to find yourself is to challenge yourself to be better 
than you ever were yesterday. You see, yesterday, you couldn't achieve public speaking. Challenge yourself. Yesterday, you couldn't write well. Challenge yourself. Do the first line, second line, third line. You can even have a 12-month plan to write every day. Challenge yourself. You are the only one who knows what you were yesterday. You are the only one you know what you were. Who knows what you were yesterday? When you allow yourself to be challenged, three things happen to you. Three things will happen to you. You appreciate who you are and what you are capable of. You recognize you are stronger than what you thought you were. Number two, your relationships are deepened. You know those who care about you and those who don't. Your real friends will show up. Your real family members will show up when you challenge yourself. Number three, each time you overcome or come out of a challenge, you become stronger and better. Your psychological immunity is built up. When live challenges come at you, you don't get scared anymore. Why? Because you know you've gone through that before. That was something that happened to David. He said, this Goliath, you know why I'll be able to face the challenge of Goliath? It's because I overcame the challenge of the lion. I overcame the challenge of the bear. This will not be an exception. If he had not challenged himself with the issue of the bear, with the issue of the lion, Goliath will have been a difficult way. One other way you can find yourself is to realize that no matter the challenge you are facing, life is trying to teach you a lesson. Pause. Ask yourself, what is life trying to communicate to me about what I'm currently facing? Is life telling me my financial intelligence is low? Or is life trying to teach me to be more intelligent emotionally? You must pause to ask. With that, you find yourself. Another thing you can do to ask to find yourself is to ask questions. Ask questions. Don't be a dogma. Don't be a religious person. Ask questions. Be, be curious about what is happening around you. Ask yourself questions about why you are the way you are and be ready to be confronted by answers you might not like. Most, if not all the world inventions, were born out of questioning the way things used to be done. The Wright brothers questioned the law of gravity, which says that everything that goes up must come down. By asking the question of the law of gravity, they discover the law of aerodynamics, which is the law that makes the plane, the airplane, to fly without coming, without coming down. Ask questions. The convenience of banking in Nigeria right now is as a result of asking questions. The question was, why can't people send cash without necessarily connecting to the internet? And boom, 737 was born. Why? A question was asked. The only reason our institutions of higher learning in most parts of Africa is not preferring solutions to societal problems is because we can't ask questions. That is why we remain the way we are. Having said that, another avenue of finding yourself is to reflect 
rather than dwell on your past. What you are asked to do is to reflect rather than dwell on your past. Reflect on your past. You see, life happens to you and not to you. Life happens for you and not to you. Sometimes, failing to get your goal helps you to find yourself. Failing to get your goal helps you to find yourself. Research has shown that it isn't just the things that happen to us that define who we become, but how much we have made sense of what has happened to us. Unsolved pains from our history inform the ways we act today. Our behavior is a reflection of our thoughts and emotions. We mirror what we think and feel. And that is why it's difficult to measure progress when one has his eyes on the problem. Most times, it is about fixing or correcting your perspective of the problems. When you have a right perspective of the problem, uh, you will learn more about life. You will find yourself. Do you always see the glass of water as half full or as, or as half empty? It's very important. Do you see it as half full or half empty? When you see life as a glass of water that is half full rather than half, half empty, the perspective of fullness will help you see yourself better. Correct viewpoints of problems allows us to go through the process which make us better person in the end. Most of our lives, we have been profoundly influenced by external forces like our parents, teachers, friends, family members, mainstream media, social media, music, and the various interpersonal experiences that either support our journey to finding ourselves or destroys it. Part of finding yourself is separate these negative influences. Any of these external influences that has impacted you negatively, you must take time to separate yourself from it. When you do that, you find self. It was Victor Franklin, the Holocaust survivor, who experienced the most unspeakable horrors under, under Nazi's rule, being separated from his wife almost starving to death and working as a labor slave and yet through it all it came to the most astonishing insights that humans can survive almost anything as long as they hold tightly to a sense of meaning and purpose one phenomenon personality that has display this great example of reflecting on the past is the president of Rwanda, Paul Kigami. He came into being the president in, two, in the year 2000 after long years of genocide that bedeviled that African country. He reflected on the past. And right now, Rwanda, who was one time in history, suffered from genocide, killings of millions of Rwandans, has now recorded the world's highest representation of women in parliaments, as over 60% of parliament members are women. Rwanda is the only country in the world where, alongside our president, they participate in national service activities called 
they will move Ganda every last Saturday of the month. Rwanda is one of the top five most developed countries since 2000. According to World Bank's doing business record, in 2016, Rwanda is second African countries to do business in, behind Mauritius, which is first in Africa. Rwanda is 49th in the whole world. Business illustration in Rwanda is done in 48 hours. The country is considered one of the best countries with the highest internet connectivity in Africa as Rwanda government is spreading the internet facilities like constructing of fiber optics in all parts of the country. Rwanda is living in digital revolution. Every service needed for any public institution are provided. The country is the origin of Smart Africa Alliance. In fact, Rwanda is using technology to extract methylene gas under the lake of Kuvu and turns it into electricity. What a powerful reflection. What a powerful reflection for Rwanda. What a powerful reflection for Rwanda. As I close, I want to tell you the story of Samsung. In 1993, there was a heavy recession and Asian markets was in Shambu. Asian markets were in Shambu. The CEO of Samsung began downsizing, selling subsidiaries and matched the rest. With the margin of the electronics, engineering and chemicals divisions, Samsung became the world's largest producer of memory chips. By 1995, Samsung switched to liquid crystal displays and over the next 10 years became the world's largest manufacturer of flat screen television. In 2010, with the liquid crystal displays becoming competitive, Samsung launches a 10-year growth strategy with smartphones being a key focus. In 2016, just four years ago, Samsung became the world's largest mobile and smartphone maker, outselling iPhone 2 to 1. Samsung's sales today is over $250 billion. Meanwhile, the total annual budget of African giants and the largest economy in Africa as of 2017 was $23.9 billion. Meanwhile, the total sale of a company was $250 billion. And the annual budget of an African country for 2017 was $23.9 billion. Hmm. The question is, do you really want to be satisfied and fulfilled in life? Do you want to experience deep, unspeakable joy that money can't buy? Do you want to leave your footprints on the rock rather than the sand of time? Do you want to be a positive reference point while you are here on earth and while you are far gone? Do you want to be a threat to death? Do you want your life to give honor and glory to your maker? If your answer to these questions is yes, I welcome you to the journey of finding self. I wish you in this roller coaster journey to find yourself. See you at the top. Thanks for listening.